Hello everyone, it's Emily from Raven Relics. Welcome back to my channel. I have a flip through for you today of this recently completed tome, which will not be going in my Etsy shop, at least not right away, because it will be coming with me to the second annual Rockport Makers Festival. So tomorrow and Sunday, I will be in downtown Rockport selling my books, and I did take pictures to make an Etsy listing in case it doesn't sell, but I figured there's no point in making a listing yet. So I'm very excited and very grateful to be a vendor here. I feel like this is the perfect location or venue for my books. Um, and it was a huge success last year. So hopefully it'll be even bigger and better this year. All right. So clearly Celtic style tome. Um, all the usual things. I've used professional bookbinders board for the covers. Archival grade adhesive. 100% Irish linen waxed thread and 50 pound drawing paper for the text block. This sari silk ribbon closure was actually white. It was originally a creamy white color, but I dyed it myself with coffee to get this caramel golden tone. And like I said, just looped right through the key. All right, so one of the things that I did differently with this book is I used a thicker type of thread. This is the same Irish linen thread that I always use, uh, brown color to match everything, um, but it's a greater thickness, and I love the way that it looks. There's no, no question that this is the um, thickness of thread I will be purchasing from now on. Here is the Celtic Knotwork emblem on the front, little gold corner protectors. Same on the back. And this really cool fabric more or less came looking like this, um, already pretty grungy, but I did add some stains like this one right here. This book is well over 300 pages, but it is mostly blank. Um, so it shouldn't take too, too long, although there is more ephemera than a totally blank journal. We'll see. And it always takes me longer than I think it will. Okay, so this bookmark is one of my favorite things ever. This is real vintage lace from the 1920s, and it has the most beautiful dragon and crest design ever. Oh my god. I wish I could just have an endless infinite amount of this, but that's not possible. Um, here is the bottom, which I cut diagonally. Top is straight. Usually I do a pocket filled with ephemera on the inside of the front cover, um, but I just loved this image too much. I did not want to cover any of it, so no pocket. I can never quite tell if I'm centered. All right, and then this beautiful image on the first page that I just glued right down. It's got water stains, it's all grungy. Beautiful. Here is a digital stamp of a dragon. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you can see things clearly from here so I don't have to actually physically pick up the book every time we come to something. Um, hopefully that's the case. I tend to pick things up and put them back down a lot and or pick the book up and put it back down and that takes up a lot of time. Raven on a branch stamp as usual. First piece of ephemera here, and all paper clips are gold paper clips. This is a page from a book that I've used several times before. It's basically an encyclopedia of ancient mythical beasts. Um, so this is just a page that I ripped right out and coffee dyed. Map of Britain. Digital stamp of a tree. Other side of that map, and it says British Isles right down here. Another page from 
that Mythical Beasts book. This, I have actually been to this spot in real life. This white horse in Britain. Or have I? I don't remember. I've been to Britain a couple times. I've seen a lot of ancient places there. I think I have. I don't know. So I tried to, obviously, the pages from that Mythical Beasts book, I tried to keep them relevant somewhat to Celtic themes, um, or at least they looked Celtic. <laughs> um, everything in here, again, is supposed to be creating, or here's a Griffin stamp on the same theme of Celtic. That's what I'm trying to say. Pretty stains. I have puppy brain. Just, <laughs> if I sound tired, it's because I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, I can't remember if I said in the last video that um, my boyfriend and I have two English Bulldog puppies that we got in October. And it's just like basically having children. <laughs> I have puppy brain. I'm exhausted. I'm very happy. Very happy. I love them, but I'm very tired. <laughs> so I'm probably mumbling and stumbling over my words. Digital stamp of some berries. I love this uh, big stamp of a dragon. And then I did a side pocket out of this map paper. And inside are a few cool things. These little tags and then this is one of many little ancient astrology images that I have downloaded. Here is a, I'm not kidding, this is a leaf cup. <laughs> it's supposed to be an ancient druid thing. I don't remember where I got it from online. Um, obviously in, in the listing, if I make a listing, I will credit the image, but it was titled Leaf Cup. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but it is actually made of leaves. It's really pretty. This paper came out amazing. Oh my gosh, it's just so smooth. It's delightful. And this is just a big piece of coffee dyed paper. I folded up a bunch of times. Very medieval looking woman. This is a little bit uh, art deco, I think, to me anyway. It's like art deco slash medieval combined. It's just too pretty. Too pretty. And I positioned things in such a way that they're kind of sticking out the top and a little bit at the bottom. I'm trying to go for that little bit messier look because I really like it. Not too messy. <laughs> Contained mess. Just a little bit. The perfect amount. Digital stamp of some pumpkins. This, <laughs> this is um, two things. So I did a Tree of Life stamp first and then I glued down another one of those round uh, astrology images that I had in that map pocket. So it's kind of like leaves sticking out from behind the dragon thing. <laughs> I don't know. It works. Some knights charging each other. Another page from the Mythical Beasts book. Here's a three-headed frightening monster man.
Now this is a smaller piece of paper that I just put in the center of this signature. And there is an illuminated letter U up there in the corner. So beautiful. I want to use illuminated letters way more often. <laughs> There's that uh, stamp I've used several times, the snake wrapped around the castle. All right, and now we have come to another little folio file folder. <laughs> I never know what to call it. So I just call it everything. Folio, file, folder. <laughs> All right. So let me put this down here to hold my spot. Another gold paper clip. And this time we have a Celtic charm attached to it. And this beautiful cardstock. Pretty simple on the inside. It's just a big side pocket with a tag. And then... A diagonal pocket down here with a big journaling card. All right. I've used this image as well many times. Another old astrology. Um, Illustration. So that the, the uh, base text block of this book was 300 pages front and back, and then there's all the extra papers added. Um, you know, like the the smaller pages, like this is just a little bit smaller. Um, all of the digital images are on. Um, well, not all of them, but a lot of them are on this slightly smaller piece of paper. Um, so that's probably, I don't know how many pages it is total. I haven't actually done that, but it's probably a lot more than 300. Here is a folded up map of Scotland. The back is super grungy. Love that. Oh my gosh. And I folded it in such a way that it's supposed to be kind of haphazardly done. Again, it's going for a little bit messier. Contained mess. A snake uh, and a crown and arrows stamp down there. Another page from the Mythical Beasts book. That's it. Last page. Here is my stamp. Focus. Focus. And a totally different end paper on the back. I used this old map paper. I just wanted to use two different end papers. I don't know. I just felt like it, so I did. And here is a very cool book plate, or name plate. I mean, again, kind of like a pagan Celtic style. All right, that's it. So I will be again at the Makers Festival in Rockport, Massachusetts this weekend, selling all of my books. We'll see how it goes. I've never been a part of this festival before. Last year was their first year and I just missed the deadline to, uh, to apply. So I'm super excited. Uh, we'll see how I do. And then it's gonna be Christmas. And oh my gosh, there's so many things to do. So busy. I have so many books that I want to make, um, and it's just 
one thing at a time. I'm going as fast as I can, but I hope that you have enjoyed this Celtic tome. In the meantime, if it does not sell this weekend, I will be putting it on Etsy and I will keep you posted um, primarily through Instagram on when that will be. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.